Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy Nightly Power here. In today's GTA 5 online video, I'll be showing you how to merge any top on your outfit to create a modded outfit. So if you guys are enjoying today's video, be sure to drop a like and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more awesome content just like this. Now with that being said, let's jump straight into it. Before I start today's video, if you're looking for any GTA online services, from modded accounts to account boosting, check out Aurora Resupply for all your GTA needs. I'll have all their links down below. Thank you to our sponsor, and now let's get back into the video. To begin with this glitch, you will need to have net cut, and you will also need to have two consoles, or you can have a friend help you out with this glitch. The first step is to make your way to the clothing store. Now at the clothing store, you are going to create two outfits. The first outfit is the outfit that you want to merge the top onto. For this outfit, the only component that you need to add is the orange v-neck t-shirt. Once you have the orange v-neck t-shirt on the outfit, make sure to save this outfit as C1. This is going to be your console 1 outfit. For your second outfit, you can wear the same outfit, but you will need to change the components on it. You will need to add the designer t-shirt, the black print t-shirt, then you will need to go into smart jackets and select the navy quilted jacket. Now once you have the two components on the outfit, you will need to save this outfit as C2 and this is going to be your console 2 outfit. The last thing that you will need to do is select the outfit with the top that you want to merge on the outfit and save this outfit in your first outfit slot. Now you will need to put on the C1 outfit, then go into your interaction menu and equip the Israel parachute bag. Then close out of the interaction menu and wait for the orange loading circle. Now you will need to go onto Netcut and lag the connection to your console. You can do this by copying the same settings on screen. Now if you're on Xbox, you will need to wait 5 minutes before you can start GTA on the second console. Once you started GTA on the second console, make your way into story mode first, then make your way into an invite only session. When you get into the session, equip the C2 outfit, then put on a parachute bag. Now wait for the orange loading circle, then exit to story mode. Now you will need to close the game and sign out on console 2. Now on console 1 you should still be in the same game. Go onto netcut and reconnect the connection to the console by copying the same settings on screen. Now you will need to remove the parachute bag off the outfit, then wait for the orange loading circle, then exit to story mode. When you get into story mode, start up an invite only session. Now when you spawn in the lobby, your outfit should look like this. Now you will need to start up any versus or contact mission that allows you to set the clothing type to player owned. Now invite one other person and start the mission. On the selection screen, you are going to go one to the left and one to the right. The top should now be merged onto your outfit. Now when the mission starts, open your interaction menu and equip an earpiece, then pull up the phone and leave the mission. When you spawn back in free mode, make your way to the clothing store, ammunition, or your apartment to save your outfit. Now that is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more awesome content just like this. Now as always, it's been your boy, Nightly Power, peace out. Look at my life, feel my pain, when it comes to me.